Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll show you how to use Gmas for email campaigns. So we'll be using Gmail for this one alongside Gmas. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So how do we actually start using Gmas? So there's going to be some prerequisites for us to start using Gmas. So first things first is you have to install Google Chrome, which is something really important for you or in order for you to use Gmas here. Now in this case, once you've installed Google Chrome, it sh you should be able to see the website here or type in the website here in the URL. So that's going to be gmas.com or .call. And uh, you could actually go to google.com, just type in gmas and you should be able to see the first URL there. there. Now in this case, once you've done that, also make sure that you open up your inbox here or your email account that you want to use for Gmas. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on add to Gmail here to start the process. It's going to uh, give us the option to add this to Chrome. Just click on add to Chrome, add extension here. And once it's actually complete, it's going to open up Gmail again, which in this case, we should be able to start using Gmas here. So first things first is you must connect Gmas to your Google account for this to work. So just click on sign up with Google here and we want to choose our account. So choose, just choose your account here and click on allow so that Gmas can actually uh, access your account for Google. It's going to say you have successfully connected Gmas to your Gmail account with the following email address. Just click on close window. And from here, it's going to give you the option to start using Gmas. In this case, you can go ahead and click on show magic here to have an overview of how things works in Gmas. But in this case, we want to start using it. Now, in this case, how do you actually start using it? Now, typically, on how on using Gmas here, it's actually pretty simple. Just click on Compose here, and typically at the bottom right, you should see the additional button here that says Gmas. Now, in this case, you could use the send ordinary send here. Like for example, if you're just sending a ordinary email, so you don't have or you don't need to use specifics like for example name or uh, tagging for that. So just a general email, you could use send here. But for Gmas, it's kind of complicated because there's a few things that you could do here which is kind of interesting because for email campaigns uh, those features are for those now in this case we first have to indicate uh, the uh, receiver of our email so maybe i want to say we want to send this to the following user so let's just use this user here and let's just say it is going to be gmas now from here i want to say hey i'm using uh, GMAS, GMAS here. So let's just type in GMAS and done. Now in this case, how do we actually open up GMAS here? So you should see the GMAS setting icon here next to GMAS itself. Go ahead and click on it and you should be able to see the following options that you could edit. Now in this case, you could basically send a test email if you want to as well. So just click on send test email and you should be able to preview your email or the email that you'll be uh, basically receiving or sending to different people. Now also, we have the templates option here. You should be able to uh, uh, add or basically view the following or add new templates here. So for example, HTML here, you could just basically edit the HTML settings. Like for example, if you want to add designs, you could go ahead and do that as well. Now, as you can see, test, this is the test able to have GMAS here. Now, from here, we have other options here like per, per, personalization. Like, for example, maybe he wants to add the last name of the person that you're looking or talking to. In this case, let's go ahead and click on that. So, let's just click on this one. Click on last name here. Click on last name. Make sure to add that. Now, in this case, when you actually choose a personalization here, you should be able to basically see the pop up here that it means that the following code has been copied to your clipboard. So, you just need to go back into GMAS here and just paste that code, and you should be able to add your personalization. Now, also, if you want to add like specific unsubscribe link, just click on this one. It's going to add the unsubscribe option here, as you can see right now. So, you could go ahead and reposition it as you would. I'm going to add it in the very bottom here. And we also have the tracking here if you want to uh, basically add tracking in this one. Like for example, we want to track the opens and clicks, the action, so send emails or create drafts. 
you have the auto follow up option here. So if you want to basically follow up on specific emails, like for example, the condition here is if no reply after two days, you need to send the text above original. So just making sure you saw this or you could uh, enter anything here or you could just uh, say just uh, checking if uh, you received this email. So you could go ahead and personalize that if you want to as well. Now, if you want to use send rich text email in same thread, you could go ahead and click on plus button here and create a new message for that if you want to. Now, also there's going to be stages here. So if you want to add a stage two, again, we have no open, no click, no reply or click or everyone. But in this case, we just want the stage one here with no reply. Now we could also schedule the email that we want to send here. Like for example, we want to send this in five minutes and one hour and three hours tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. and a lot of those options as well. Now we also have the send or the speed here. So we want to maybe send like 10 emails a day if you want that or pause in between emails. Like for example, five to 10 minutes so that we'll be able to avoid that tagging that we're a spam uh, section here. So it's a great way for you to not be tagged as spam. Well, now we also have the option here to repeat it if you want to. Also, we have the option to have the advance here. Now we have the multi-send verify, A-B test, triggers, reply to, suppression, so don't send to the following people. We have the skip send images, poll, preview text, and preview name. Now in this case, I would su actually suggest you to first make sure that you send a test uh, email just to make sure that your email is actually configured. So in this case, just click on send test here. So once you've done that, you should be able to see or receive that test email. So let's just wait for it. So test emails have been sent to the following warning. The address wasn't part of your actual recipient list. So we don't know how to personalize the email. So in this case, you just need to make sure that you want to uh, go back in here. So if the tag is not actually um, unrecognized, it's not going to be added in there. So in this case, so make sure that you actually add the user here. So yeah, so avoid those settings. Now in this case, you could go ahead and click on GMAS here if you want to. So just click on GMAS here to send it. And once you've done that, it should give you the option here. You did GMAS scheduled for a campaign will be sent right now exactly the following day here or time. And let's just go back our inbox here. Also, if you want to view the emails or campaigns that you've launched, you could go ahead and click on the top right here and you should be able to see your campaigns for GMAS. Now, in this case, since we only sent one, that's going to be our current campaign here. If you want to preview that, just click on the eye icon. As you can see, this is going to be the email that we just recently sent and to the people that we sent it to. Now, if you want to pause this one, like for example, pause this, click on the uh, pause button here. Or if you want to cancel this, click on X. If you want to view the graphs for it, you can go ahead and click on this one and you should be able to see the graphs like recipients, replies, click rate, open rate, and a lot more so that you'll be able to see if people are actually being able to see your email and a lot of those things. And yeah, so that's how you use GMAS and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.